What's up guys, this is Bjant with Extendly and today I am excited to share with you our improvements to the support engine, the uh, new support experience that we've been talking about for a little bit. All right, so what you're seeing on your screen is our extended dash. Prior to this, it's been a separate software that you had to log in to. Now you'll be provided a link. It'll be specific to your agency. You'll put a custom menu link, enable it inside your agency view only, and it'll sit there and you'll be able to control your apps and uh, a little sneak peek into it you probably are looking at some of the other apps that we have coming up as well so review engine promotion engine and legion engine all of which have been available with GHL experts the whole time and they are going to be released to everyone in extendly right into this extended dash as well more news on that to come later as we get closer to working on getting those apps working inside this system but for now let's focus on the sport engine the sport engine is an app that GHL experts had developed after we acquired them they right away started working on improving that experience for us so now they've put together this amazing software that allows you to improve your support experience and everything's built into just the one app so what does that look like well get a little widget right here at the bottom just like you've always had sort of like the intercom style is what we've gone after put that widget in place it'll be brandable so you're no longer a white label experience you're more of a branded experience so your logo will go over here you know you can change the message to say whatever you want here chat first experience right here and then be able to search or a uh, pin important articles right over here and then go into starting a chat being able to search knowledge base right within and the last one is user guides your product tours and i'll go over that in just a second as well so let's go into how this is going to work and what you're going to be able to do on the back end to be able to manage for your customers all right the most important part of this is the back end system that's been put together combined with the front end experience that your customers are going to have. We've put together a lot of customizable options for you in this. So once you get your domain name connected and whatnot, then you're going to be able to see available parts of the app. So knowledge base, live chat, user guide, all of which you can control and turn on and off whether you want to offer them or not. So under the, uh, the knowledge base here, you're going to be able to take a look at all the articles available. You're going to be able to mark whichever ones to pin as the suggestion suggested articles, you're able to do four suggested articles. This is where they show up right over here under this section. So right now, these are the ones we have pinned. That's where they're showing up. And then of course, you're able to search for additional articles as well by typing in the appropriate keywords. And then you can also turn on and off an article in if you didn't want to show it to your entire, let's say you don't want to show mail gun setup options to all of your customers because maybe they're using lead connector or something, right? So you simply come in here and disable this. And now everywhere in the knowledge base, this particular article related to it will disappear and will not be there. And then you're able to even copy an article and add in your own articles as well. So you can come in here, type up your own article, provide images, descriptions, put it under a category, assign the appropriate keywords, tags, give it a title, the whole nine yards. You're going to be able to add in your own articles on custom apps that you may be using. For example, some of you guys are using other third party apps to combine and package with your offering and you don't want to be providing them like three, four different knowledge bases. You can now grab those articles from that particular app and just put them right into this, create a category. In the next version, next release in a few days, we're also gonna be adding subcategories as well. So you'll be able to have a main category, then the subcategory, then the article. That's sort of the structure that we will have there available for you. And then we have a location management piece as well. So you can choose to show certain items, like for example, knowledge base, live chat, user guides. You can choose to show for all locations uh, you can choose to, if your plan allows it, of course. Some of you guys that are on the uh, 10 sub account location plan, your plan will only allow for 10 locations. So you can pick and choose which 10 locations you want to apply it to. Prior to that, it was either the 10 or nothing, and or you had to be on a higher tier plan. So now you can stay on a lower tier plan and only show the uh, knowledge base, live chat, and user guides to the particular 10 locations. And if you wanted to offer that to more of your locations as your account base grows, then you can upgrade your plan at that time. On your own. All right. And then there's uh, the same exact thing with user guides as well. You're going to be able to turn on and off which particular, for example, if you don't offer phone numbers as an agency to your customers, you can turn off the uh, the step related to phone numbers. So it doesn't go there, doesn't show that to them. All right. So a little bit of the setup and customization and how you can brand this. Let's go over that real quick. So once you get into settings and the widget, you're going to be able to choose your own colors to whatever you want to make this look like. We've sort of gone with the dual pane view here, but 
but you can go to a singular color as well if you want to make it more of an on-brand experience. You can choose the text size, you can choose the text colors, subtitle colors, all of that is available for you to choose and you can upload your own logo right over here as well. Once you save that, then you go into one of the uh, sub accounts. So let's go right there. So you go into one of the sub accounts and this is what the front end is going to look like inside a sub account. Your colors for the icon can be updated to yours. Traditionally, it was just a black icon that we've always had there. So you can now make it blue, green, white, whatever your branding colors are. So in this case, we've chosen yellow for this purpose. All right. So when you open up the homepage screen right here, it'll recognize which page you're on. It says, looks like you're on the conversations page. You want to take a quick tour, right? So if your customer clicks that, it'll start the tour and it'll guide you through step by step to help educate them on what this is, what that is, what is trigger links, what's uh, templates, what's uh, manual actions. All of that is there, easy for you to see. And now if you switched over to, let's say calendars or something, right? Then this will switch over to calendars and now you can launch a tour on calendars. You can click send us a message to start the live chat. So there goes the live chat. I can hit start chat and someone in our team will answer and they'll start chatting with your customers. All right, and here's all the uh, knowledge base articles that are available assigned by category. And, and again, we're going to have the subcategory options. So you'll be able to take a look at more. So let's say if we wanted to look up for something related to workflows. All right, the workflow builder. Okay, here we go. So you can choose to expand or minimize the size of the window that displays the article in. And finally, you're able to see your standard article format with pictures and steps and whatnot and, and uh, videos as well, all in there. And now finally, let's go into the product tours, the user guides that we talk about. So all those user guides are listed over here. If you click on one of these, for example, if you click on conversations, it'll take you to the conversations page and it'll launch the uh, user guide and it'll take you step-by-step, -step, you know, templates. Ever have the uh, same question come up over and over again? Here you can create SMS and templates to quickly answer those common questions. So those are there to help them understand what these particular items do. And then also a lot of times the uh, button comes in the way of certain buttons so they can hover over and move this chat up and down as well to wherever they want on the screen. When it clicks, it automatically goes down to the bottom and then they're able to close it as well. And then they can, again, move it up or down wherever they want. And when they click, it'll always automatically go down to the bottom. There are a lot more updates coming to this same support engine platform now that we have the base built and ready to launch for our customers. By the way, the launch is going to happen over the next couple of weeks and we're going to slowly drip it out to all of our customers to ensure that everyone's having a good experience and there's no sudden changes. We don't want to just turn the old widget off and enable the new one. We are going to be reaching out to you each and every one of you manually and helping you update this so that your experience is smooth with this. So look forward to that for the team to be reaching out to you and some email communication in relation to that as well. All right, didn't want to take too much time, but uh, that is the update. We are excited to share this with you and we're excited to bring more of these software updates to the support engine platform, which will make life easy for you. Thank you folks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.